How to make a friend in four simple steps. When you were a kid, making friends was a little easier than it is now. Can you be my friend? It was. Step one, be within a 14 foot radius of another kid. Step two, done. But now you're a full grown person. All your friends have moved away, or you have, to pursue a career. Or for whatever reason, you have no friends, which is precisely the case for Samantha here. Whoa, wait, I do have some See, friends. See, no friends. No, I Let's do get started. Here's what you'll need. Something to write with, something to write on, and possibly two of the same shirts. Step one, make a list of things you like to do. Activities, hobbies, interests, write them all down and then... Samantha, I didn't know you liked to paint. Yeah, acrylics mostly. Oh, hell yeah, girl. I'm actually an artist myself, see? Oh, that's amazing. Oh, thank you. I love turtles. No, no, that's a self-portrait. Pick out the activities that can be done in group settings. Step two, do those things. Doing stuff you're into is a surefire way to meet people you already have things in common with. Though it can be scary for some of us, especially Samantha, who gets super sweaty when she's nervous. It's pretty gross, actually. Actually, I'm doing pretty good You'll right now. You'll be fine. Just don't think about how awkward you're going to be or the fact that everyone is staring at you because you've been standing in the doorway talking to a voice in your head. Good thing you brought that extra shirt. Step three, make small talk. I know it sucks, but it's a necessary evil. You might not hit it off with everyone you talk to, but trying is the only way to find someone you do connect with. Oh my gosh, I love that. I actually have a friend who's really good at painting turtles too. It's not a turtle. <laughs> I'm just Are you kidding? kidding? <laughs> yeah, it's a turtle. No, it's so good. <laughs> Excellent. And now, as you're getting to know them, you're probably going to ask the usual... So what do you do? Where are you from? But I recommend something like... So what's been the best part of your week? This can spark more interesting conversation and elevate the small talk to regular size. Just remember to play it by ear. You don't want to move too fast. I like you. Let's be friends. But don't play it too cool, either. We should hang out sometime. Yeah, maybe when my schedule clears up. <laughs> Basically, just be yourself. You've been subconsciously collecting good friend data your whole life. So if something feels right, give it a shot. Which brings us to step four. Be a great friend. Making new friends can be intimidating, but what's on the other side is worth the effort. Just remember that friendships aren't found, they're formed. So be patient, present, and the kind of friend you want to have. So do nice things every once in a while, like giving them your last piece of gum. Unless, of course, you need it more. It may seem weird, but it's these little moments that define true friendship. When you can look at each other and say, you got some stuff on your face, and not feel awkward. That's when you know it runs deep. So good job, Samantha. You did it. I hope this helps. And if you want to add your own steps or swap out some of mine, that's totally fine. Just know that you're going to mess it all up and it won't work. See you next time. Super Cake.